This is BBC News. I'm Sean Lay. The headlines at seven. Scientists advising the government say stricter COVID measures should be made ready for rapid deployment. The Prime Minister, though, insists that Plan B for England is needed yet. We keep all measures under constant review. We'll do whatever we, we have to do to protect the public. But the numbers that we're seeing at the moment are fully in line with what we expected. Tributes are paid to the cinematographer Halina Hutchins, who's died after actor Alec Baldwin fired a prop gun on the set of his latest film. He since released a statement expressing his shock and sadness. She had such a strong vibe, such a sense of uh, a commitment to art and like sort of the integrity of wanting to make cinema. Helia. The Home Secretary Priti Patel backs calls to change the law to give victims of domestic abuse more time to report the crime. The social care watchdog in England warns many people could be left without help this winter because of an exhausted and depleted workforce. And coming up in half an hour, foreign correspondents based in London give their view on events in the UK and around the world. That's in Dateline, coming up here on BBC News at 7.30. Hello, very good evening, and if you just joined us, welcome to BBC News. Scientists advising the UK government say plans for the reintroduction of stricter coronavirus measures should be ready for rapid deployment. They say early intervention, like asking more people to work from home, could have the greatest impact in preventing viral spread and reducing the need for more stringent and longer-lasting measures. New figures from the Office for National Statistics suggest 1.1 million people were infected across the UK last week. That's the highest number since January. Currently, there are more than 1,000 hospital admissions every day. The government has a new campaign it's launching, urging those eligible to book their booster jabs. The Prime Minister says there are no plans to implement tighter rules, although the situation is under constant review. More from our health editor, Hugh Pym. <laughs> 